Hey, how y'all doing, baby girl? It doesn't matter if you got a big booty or a flat booty. I'm coming to get that booty. Welcome back to church, everyone. Sorry, my hair is falling out because I'm going bald. Yeah, um, first to sponsor us. Yeah, I was about to say a yeah. fucking one of the. I was gonna say him, so what was I gonna say? I don't remember. You gave me autism. Uh, yeah. But uh, shout out the boy, Victor Wembayana, going to the Spurs. The NBA lottery is rigged, as you can see for the millionth time. But we're not gonna get into sports yet. We'll talk about that later. But I know you guys saw this beautiful jersey. And don't worry, it's fake. This was twelve dollars from China. Shameless DHK plug. You know what to do. But yeah, um, just wanted to, before we get into the news and sports, like we usually do, we feel like we just dive right into things. I just wanted to talk about some shit, you know? Because I was thinking of like embarrassing stuff when I was a kid, and I definitely wanted to hear from you since you're old as shit, but like, uh, what would you say is like probably your most embarrassing, like all time thing that happened to you just in school or in a public place before you turned 18? There's a lot. Could be there. sports, could be really anything. No, I have one that collides. So, all right. This one comes to mind because <clears throat> it was just really fucky. So, um, practice, football practice. It was JV versus varsity. I wasn't, I wasn't allowed to play varsity that year because I was switching schools in her district. So I was not allowed to play varsity. I had it's to not play college. Team. Like what? <laughs> yeah, transfer roles, bro. We take football very seriously in that way. So wasn't allowed to play varsity, um, which is really fucked up because the year before, uh, when I was at Del Norte, all the high schools will let their varsity players play JV for that week. And just fucking destroy us. Yeah, so all the all the juniors that were on JV. <coughs> we could get better, but yeah. No, we got fucking demolished, dude. Bad. Yeah, we had freshmen on our team. Be better. So yeah, it was bad. It was a bad year. So when I went back, uh, I had to play JV. So it was JV versus varsity. Obviously, all my friends are on varsity and shit like that. And then uh, one of the kids came up to me and he pants me, and my dick was out. In high school, that's so weird to do. Yeah, we had. A well, you were playing weird... football, and you. Oh, before I say this, what position did you play? I was corner, receiver, punter. Never mind. I was gonna say most people wear cups, but if you're like a fast skill position, there's no point to wear that because it's gonna I, restrict your legs. You never me. wore a cup, even in fucking lacrosse. And I played crease maybe. I played defense, so I always wore a cup because I swear to God, we had a coach, and he like actually lost a testicle. From yeah. it. He yeah. played goalie without a cup. It's there like, was, are you retarded? There was a time once, so like, there's a story about an Orange Bernardo kid who lost a nut because he got put into the crease, which he never wants to play, just like me. I never would play crease. I had told everybody, I'm like, I don't play crease because I don't wear a cup. So I just, I'm not in there. It ended up happening during a fucking fall league. So it was just a bunch of high school teams. Yeah, bullshit. fucking hanging out and shit like that. So for spring league or whatever. And then I go in to the crease and I just look and this fucking and the Ranch Bernardo kids are like all stars for some reason they're like these little fancy I can so throw have, on I know I've heard of the town so I'm guessing they have money it sounds like a town of money oh, usually so people that have money, money are good on the cross because they're white and they're privileged so so much money and so I see him wind up and I just go motherfucker and I just put the I put my stick in front and you go like this and I, just, <laughs> I just do this and it just goes beep, and I'm like oh motherfucker off like, the stick off the stick and then I look at it and he indents my stick Jesus. Yeah. I've almost, been hit almost lost the shot. Shot. And like the cup, I mean, of course it hurt because the cup like jabbed my balls oh, yeah. and stuff. But like, if I wasn't wearing that cup, God knows what would have happened. But it hurt very bad. Wear your cups. Wear your cups. Wear your cups. But football, it's different. Like when um, I was this size, but bigger when I was younger. So like fifth grade, I was like 5'11", like 210. So I was on the defensive line, offensive line. So like you kind of needed to wear a cup because like it gets rough in the trenches like sometimes you just grab some dick on accident like trying to like swim someone like just grab some dick on accident you know and just or on purpose it really depends what kind of player you are like if you're a big carl nassib fan i'm not sure if you know him on the raiders probably grabbing some dick he's the only openly gay football player you know? oh cool for the audience yeah there you guys go yeah i didn't know that too. sports joke uh -huh. okay. awesome so yeah just wear your cups i like the story but uh there's an alternate universe where i have no nuts. It's hard for me. I would be a lawyer. 
I, I don't care about pussy. <laughs> yeah. I would be a lawyer, doctor, and astronaut, scientist. Life would be different. Life would be different with no nuts. Start taking estrogen, man. Dude. Dude, do you want to do you want to experiment? Let's take our nuts off, dude. It's like all like the podcasters now, like the big comedians, are like yeah, I'm all just estrogen. You and me are like, let's start taking estrogen. Let's take estrogen. <laughs> let's get rid of our dicks. Let's get some put tits. some tits. I'm in. You I'm know, in, bro. Our like right now, the podcast. I mean, I love it. I love the direction it's going, but I feel like we aren't marketing ourselves and getting ourselves out there at the level we could be. So the best way to, for us to do that is to have fat fucking tits. And for us to just be sloppy hoes. Oh like, yeah, we would do so good. Like I suck that's that's not... We could be like I would do it. If I would do it, if I was a hot if I was a hot chick and I was actually moderately funny, I would make a raunchy podcast. We'd be like that one teacher from Florida who just put like this aggressively fake tits on that were like oh, double case. Let's go. That dude it's like you know what you're doing. You're just disrespecting trans people at this point. Yeah, he's yeah. trolling. He's a troll. He but to take out. something that far and actually get fake tits, it's like, bro, respect. Like you're committed, dude. He jerks off to that nightly. That's also a weird question too. If you're a heterosexual male, and you're, and, and you're doing that weird shit where you're getting like the fake tits to prove a point because you're that weird of a fucking Republican, I guess. No, it's not that. He jerks off to those tits. Yeah, so I was gonna say, do you think they jerk off? To That's why you got it. If if you and his tits are so big he could titty fuck himself. It, it, say it's twenty like forty two and just transgenderism is just chill and like you're like I could just get a set of tits and jerk off to my tits. Fuck. Like well, right? Like it's like it's like a cheat code to porn. It's sad because I know this will happen. Well, no, because I porn, know porn's way. going a different way with like. Uh, uh, virtual, you know, there's like virtual yeah. shit where you can get a machine and it'll, it'll bone the same speed as yeah. You. That's it's, pretty cool. That's a lot of money. I'm not allowed to have. That. I'm not allowed to have that. I feel like if you live with a woman, you shouldn't be paying for that. My woman would have her own like thing going too. We're not allowed to have that as as, as a couple. We're not allowed to have sex in, as a couple. No, <laughs> we, no, like we wouldn't have sex as a couple. Like it just that would be, not be really worth it either. It, it would be our video games. That's like, sad. I just walk in on her, like, I'm like, oh, all right. she's with Darnell again. Yeah, look at that. Like, oh, my God, there's five of them. Okay. <laughs> Fifteen. Oh, okay, cool. Just like our one emailer, shout out the boy. I hope you're doing okay. Oh, dude, yeah. Fucking five guys. We That's never what, get fucking responses. Whatever, right happened, whatever happened to five guys? Like, I want him to, I want him to respond. Like, five guys. Dude. No burgers and fries. Just a little dick. Just a <laughs> little dick. You know they have extra dick in the bag. That that that's her. She has the extra dick in the bag. I'm kind of worried he didn't respond. He probably killed himself. Don't kill yourself. <laughs> you need to respond. You need, you need to keep watching. We don't have any views. So come on, come on back, five guys. Sports, 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 sports ball, sports. We talk sports ball. We're gonna go right into it. The French God, All right? So he's been everyone's been jerking stick off. This guy Victor won by Anna. But uh, oh, today, this is. Okay. he's seven foot five, 17 years old, and can like shoot he's three. He's gonna die when he's 22. That's the issue. People are like, he's so big. I'm scared. That's fair. He needs he needs a second heart and Dude, organs. You should see him play. He's like a big praying mantis. And like, yeah, he's, I know people about up, that. shoot threes. I, it's I, like, I remember, I remember we talking about him now. Did you see, have you ever seen him underwater? Uh, no, it's so, it looks like Enderman, dude. It's so oh, God, it's scary. scary. <laughs> it's so scary. I love it though. So many pictures of, like him with like Chris Paul, and and, it, Steph Curry. He makes was, them like children. Yeah, and they're white. Like, it would be just as scary too. All right, that's, that's it. Nah. <laughs> he's mixed, so only half of him scares me. Yeah, but, uh, no, he's a fucking monster. But you have to understand, you know how long it takes for the sen like sensors to get from his hand to his brain? It's literally twice as long as you and I. If you think about it, think about I it. I can understand what you're saying, but I'm not a doctor. No, it's just it's just common sense. Yeah. Like from from our our wingspan, the sense only has to go from he, our brain to here. Well, he's better than us because he's quick. He's quick as fuck, bro. Good for him, man. That's dope. I'm I'm excited. I'm really just wanting to get hurt, but he's going to the Spurs. He's gonna get hurt. He's gonna get hurt. Cut from the game four of like the season. <laughs> Seriously, like no, it's it's so bad. That's how Embiid started though. Embiid didn't play his first two years because he was that hurt, and then he was gonna like kill himself. 
He didn't, which is pretty cool. But he probably should have after that playoff performance. God that damn it. Fucking cunt hole. Fuck! I don't want to yell right now for my neighbors, but like, guys, I was in a low place. I um, almost had to cancel the show completely my career. <laughs> I had to go to uh, my, my, what's it called? My Health 24-7 for like a good four days. He knew what was going to happen too. I invited yeah, him I over. Didn't. He was like, I'm not going to do that because what if I cry? I'm like, I'll cry with you. I'm a step fan. We no, it was together. so bad. They lost so bad. It's like, I can't even like be upset because it's so bad. I just want to break things and commit hate crimes it was, against it white was, people. How is how is thirty five year old Tucker gonna fucking carry the team for the Where, first two quarters? I think he's like thirty nine. <laughs> he's so old. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. How, is, how is this pickup game going on right now? It looked like LA Fitness versus fucking the Utah Jazz. Dude. <laughs> I hate it was a weird. It was a weird game. I stopped right. watching and started playing like Apex or some shit. It's gonna be fun game. now because like at least next year. I know the Sixers suck, but at least we can watch the fucking praying mantis himself. This guy just dicing shit up. If he doesn't break his legs and die, but dude, you know, I'm excited, you know his bro. first dunk. San Antonio. You know his first dunk. Someone's gonna fuck his day up. I don't know. He's seven foot five. That's a uh, that's pretty big. What I'm saying is no. Okay, no. Let me, let me Someone dunking on his him. First, no, his first. Um. Uh, 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 Fast, uh, what's it called? Oh my god, I'm high. Uh, um, what are you saying? Your fast break? The there break? it is, thank you. Like in transition, break. like trying to dunk on someone? Yeah, he's gonna right. fucking destroy them. No, he's gonna die. We'll see here. Hey, he's for gonna... the people that don't know basketball, show how long this enlarged this man is right here. Just, um, I mean, yeah, just like that. Great player. It's uncomfortably big. I guarantee you his cock's maybe 26 inches. I think he wears like a size 24 shoe. It's like, Jesus fucking Christ. But yeah, San Antonio, I kind of feel bad too. They have one of the greatest coaches of all time, Greg Popovich, and he was literally going to retire this year because he's like 8,000 years old. And then they got him. Now he's like, well, I guess I got to go 20 more years until I die. Like, you can't retire now because they're a playoff team now. It's like, well, I'll be good. No retirement. Uh, I guess. But uh, yeah, his penis is massive. Um, it's also cool because I uh, said that about Embiid, and then we just saw it also we saw it shrink up like he just got out of a hot tub in a fucking middle of Alaska. That was, was bad. It was bad. It was uncomfortable. It was un watching the Seventy Sixers is like walking in on your friend fuck your sister. Worse. It was just very uncomfortable. Yeah. Like you guys, are, so you guys are your own people. And your sister's like twelve. <laughs> <laughs> we already we already fired our head coach though. We we're like, fuck you. James Harden was like, I'm probably not coming back. So it's like, all right, everything's falling apart. It's good. Why is Doc Rivers coaching? Not anymore. He's done. But why was he coaching? It was a big name, honestly. It's really, really it was just that. weird to see Doc Rivers. I was like, why is this announcer on the court? And then I was no, like, he's oh, he's an announcer. announcer. He just looks like an announcer. Yeah. I feel like him and Charles Barkley. They do look a lot alike. No. Is that racist? That, that was racist. racist. That was racist. That was not what I was But they both about. kind of look like turtles. You don't interrupt my sense to make it racist. They're like <laughs> like, that's so fucked up. Like Hey Arnold, you know? No. Hey Arnold was a No, black Hey Arnold is not even close. You are comparing black people to animals, yes. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Fuck. <Yeah. laughs> um. That was hard to say. I really yeah. hope he's healthy next year because it's going to be beautiful. The Sixers will suck, but it'll be fun to watch that. Are Not even being racist, but heterosexual activities. I blow them sometimes. Oh, and also. <laughs> yeah. but it's also Geek, though. In, in the lottery, one of the top three picks, he's the guy at Alabama who gave his teammate a gun, and his teammate killed someone with that. But hey, he's a top three pick, and not even making a pun or a joke, he's. <laughs> He's one of the best shooters in the draft. It's like, that is such a fucking... Fun. Not only is he a shooter, he's an assist bro. <laughs> yep. It's like, he assists murder on the court and murder on, on the... On, on. Oh, God damn it. You fucked that one up. If I had it. it it's, been, it's been that lately. Don't worry. When I get back on cocaine, it'll be a lot better. Construction. But, uh... No, just cocaine. But we wanted to uh, revisit this because I knew this would happen. So the West Virginia coach that uh, called the other team a bunch of gay slurs. I don't know, cause I'm a, or bleep it, faggots, whatever you want. Faggots! He didn't get fired. I called it. West Virginia was like, yeah. I told whatever. you. No, I told you. Like, I told you West Virginia's neighboring places are West Virginia 1, 2, and 3. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. That's all it is. Yeah. 
Is it, have you ever been to West Virginia? My family's from there. Expanded. Answer the question if you've ever been to West Virginia. Go in the comments. The ones that said no, good. Cousin fucking capital of the world, baby. What can I say? What? The uh, the announcer that said the uh, the NL league comment, we'll just say that. Yeah. He, he was removed. Um, yeah. So yeah. Well, there's a difference between faggot and neighbor. Neighbor. <laughs> right. yeah, neighbor. Neighbor. Yeah. But with a hearty R. Like, <laughs> that there's a big difference. God, that was so bad. But he really oh, didn't mean to say it. He like, didn't fuck. mean to. It hurts. hurts. It gives me the chills, bro. That sucks. But that shout sucks, out, man. You're racist. That get off the racist topic though. Shout out the boy Pat McAfee. I love him. Oh. He just signed a massive deal, so his show is now going to ESPN. Um, it's I think they said like an eight figure deal he's getting per year. The only That's, thing I'm scared about those things. Was, is that why he was in LA? I thought it was for the wrestling thing. I have no idea. Okay. But they just announced it today. That he's going to be going to ESPN soon. But the only thing I'm worried about is like his show's the way it is because he's like, yeah, fuck this or whatever. Like he's just himself. That's literally his intro. And there's no one that can like tell him, tell what, him to what to do. But if he's going on ESPN and being on TV, maybe, you can't do but that. Maybe the TV is just like. But also, we're in 2023. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe they're like, fuck it. Like, we'll try your show and see how it goes. Maybe Pat McAfee is the way that changes the way news is done and shit. And then, like, hockey is getting kind of big because, like, their TNT shit, they um, Arizona fucking goat, like, Biz Nasty, they have him on there. He doesn't do it on purpose, but he'll, like, slip up and be like, oh, that guy fucking sucks. And, like, oh, shit. And, like, correct himself. But, like, just that, like, the authenticity or whatever. People are like, yeah, we, we fucking like this. It's, like, I liked, I liked it's sports, that. but it's not pussy shit. No, I liked Pat back when he was like fucking before the down. That was when he was great. That's when the jokes were good. It's like he's like actually kind of a comedian in a way. It's kind of cool. No, it's great. He's done stand up. Like I love, part. yeah, I love the the kid that called in. I was like listening. A little live. kid. I was listening live when that shit went down, and I literally was getting ready to go to a sale and like fucking that kid did that shit. And I was like, motherfucker, dude, love like, it. Like yeah. smiling the whole way to my fucking to the. I was like ended up listening like had YouTube on while I was driving. She was good. But yeah, um, sports. But Victor, sports, sports. I don't know if you said this earlier. Go back to Victor one more time. They literally called him earlier today the best prospect in sports history. So that's a big big remark, and I guarantee you, being a big prospect comes with a big cock. But let's get into the news because here we are the place that reports the news, the real news. We're not Fox or CNN. Where they're fucking drunk, Uncle. Because uh, we're, we're big prostates. Did I say right? Yeah. <laughs> but dum da da dum 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 news. <laughs> it's sick because, like, all of these fucking, like, country fans, those people in general, they get pissed because, like, the Morgan Wallen tour, like, he's canceling shows. His shows just suck in general. And people are, like, spending, like, 800 bucks. They're waiting months for this. It's like, who? Morgan Wallen? Country artist? Like, the biggest country artist in the world? No. You don't fuck your cousin enough to know, so that's good. I don't. But, I'm sorry. Dude, people are pissed. And I kind of feel bad, too, because it's like, so I know what a friend. Is Morgan, what is a Morgan Wallace? Morgan Wallen. He's like the Garth Brooks of our era. <clears throat> uh, but he doesn't kill people, so. Well, that's, then he's not Garth Brooks. He's just another country singer. Sure. Okay, yeah, so how dare you compare him to the great Garth Brooks? All right, he's George Tree. Fuck. Okay, there it is. All right, so he's a bunch of puss. Yeah. yeah, yeah but no, it sucks, because his Shout music's out. good, Morgan. but like, I like his music, and then you'll see clips of him on stage, and it's like... But this guy is kind of sick because, like, during COVID, he got in trouble for saying the N word, like, on a video in the backyard. So, you know, he did, like, make up for it and, like, oh, don't cancel me. He made a song with Lil Dirk, like a half rap, half country song. And he's like, I'm not racist. I just made a song with Lil Dirk. But did it go hard? It went so hard. Damn it, dude. So he's not racist. He can't be, bro. Like, Lil Dirk is so (laughs) mad. Like, you can't make you can't make a dope track and be racist at the same time. It doesn't work. And then being fully racist, Lil Durk is like one of the hardest and blackest rappers you could ever make a song with. So it's like, yeah, you're not racist. These like my work love country music. At our they all listen to Warrior Mall then. They, for sure. Yeah, they, then they would know these. But people are paying like eight hundred bucks to sit like the worst seats. But like, he's canceling he, everything. Is we're he, not we're showing up and something. He um, a couple of them have said like his throat was hurting and then when he does show up, he'll be like two hours late, only perform for 30 minutes. Because he's the fucking rock star, bro. Yeah, pretty much. That's what you do. Yeah, kind of. He was popular, his, his tickets were falling. He noticed it. No, he sold like, out like MetLife Stadium, like where the Giants play. Like, yeah, out everywhere. But he's like, I need controversy. I'm too fucking good. But I need to say the N word again. 
Like, there you go, yeah, buddy. Yeah, this, his PR knows what he's what they're doing. Like, but, they know exactly what he's just going to be a bad boy. It makes me mad because all of our topics are kind of just like, because I feel like I've been ragging on the left a little bit too much lately, but a lot of these topics here are like just kind of like right wing people just getting really pissed off. So like the Bud Light shit, Miller Light was like, oh, it's it's like women's month, I think, or last month was or whatever. I don't know. They were these uh, women. Women. They were, <laughs> they were, they were, they were, or they were like, we're going to outlook Bud Light. So Miller Light dropped a commercial. It'll be, this be like a week late, but for our time, it was yesterday. Is it like a diss commercial? No. They were trying to just like outlook them, but it wasn't even bad. Like a diss track, but like. But like liberal lies. It's like, yeah, we like women more than you. <laughs> Respect. I love black people. But, um, so it was like, in my opinion, it wasn't even like weird or super like wokey or reaching out. It was just Miller Lite, like saying like how their company got started from like brewers that were women and like farmers that were women and just empowerment to women. But all these like fucking rednecks on Twitter, they're like, oh, they're going woke just like Bud Light. Fucking Miller Lite's a liberal fucking snowflake too. And it's like, no, they're just saying like women do good shit. And like they're getting pissed off and they're like, we're not buying this shit anymore either. They're supporting trans people and queers. And it's like, no, they just made a commercial about women farmers, bro. There's a, there's a dude who put a video out a while back with the Bud Light, but it's the same thing with Miller Light too. And it's so on point. It's like all of you people who are getting mad and shooting it up and like is all angry shit. It's like they want that because they want you gone. They don't want you. All the people go, we're boycotting. They're like, good. Yeah. Bye. Their demographic wasn't the, I mean, if you think about the bare bones demographic of Bud Light. People that, I'm sorry, you might like it because you're fucking weird and you have a shitty palate. I don't drink anymore, but when I did, people that drink Bud Light and like Coors Light and all that shit, you're usually either poor or you're just like 18. And 18, you're poor or you're just old and racist. So I kind of get the move, but who else is going to drink your shitty product because it tastes like shit? Your shit is the stuff the people, that fuels the, the poor people that beat their wives. The people who still drink it are the ones they, they want. Like Ooh. I said, the, the poor, the 18 year olds. No, the That's kids a hard are, demo to keep. Uh, not even, no, because it's not about keeping, it's the price. It's, I can make this shit beer at this price. People know this because I paid money for commercials and they it's drink it. It's weird to cannibalize they, like half a like, demo. I don't know. Because they don't, because they're going to revamp everything. They're going to be a different brand. They should, yeah. they should. But like, I get it. I'm not saying they're, get it. Their beer's disgusting. They're not trying to appease the beer drinkers. They're trying to yeah. appease the ones that just go like, oh, I know this beer, I'm it's gonna cheap. buy it. Yeah, yeah, it's cheap. But I mean, I at least get like the Bud, I mean, I'm not, I gotta dance around right here. I understand the concern from the Bud Light demo because it is weird because they're like, yeah, most of our, our consumers are like racist poor people. Yeah. So it's weird are. for them to have a trans like, activist as their spokesperson. So. Yeah, if you want to boycott them, kind of go ahead. But like boycotting now Miller just for having commercial about women, it's like, that's, you guys are just bored now. That's what it is. You guys just want to try new beer, which sure, go ahead, like get a sour or something. It's it's the people who don't have an actual say in anything want to say in something and this is their time. And then it's also, (laughs) yeah, it's those people. But it's also that we don't have really anything to complain about right now other than like real shit. Other than real shit, but people aren't smart enough to understand real shit, but they understand this and that, that they don't like women. Yeah. That, and so they're like, I can be angry about this, and I'm going to be angry and loud about it. These people have always existed. We've now given them multiple platforms to discuss and they're it. Loud. And they're very loud about it. So, like, if, like if you go onto Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, and you get rid of the bots and those people, really not much going on. <laughs> yeah. Really ain't Pretty much quiet. shit. <laughs> yeah. About better shit on the fucking newspaper than there is on there. Because if you take on take in all the fucking shitty news articles that there is, if you actually read it, it's all fluff and bullshit. Yeah. It's copy and paste, copy and paste, change name, change name. It's just the same shit over and over and over. So it's easy for an AI bot to copy and paste it. You get used to fucking this stupid website these companies will pay X amount of dollars to have their ad posted all over the fucking thing. It's all just quick, easy place and drop manipulation. Or you could live in a place like Phoenix where you have news because like this weekend, six people got murdered. It's like, oh, it's chill. That happens every weekend everywhere. <laughs> in LA, it happens in New York. It happens not happening in Omaha, Nebraska, unless it's people of color, but that's only a few times a year when they have the meeting with the pointy hats. 
Good time, recommend it. Not if you're, uh, never mind. Well, moving on. Let's go to the emails. Since you hate people of color, we have two emails. <laughs> and, uh, I like having two emails. This guy's cool. Also, fuck the bitch. I saw you on Twitter or TikTok, whatever the fuck it is. I saw some video. She said, when men sit crisscross applesauce or I'm going to say it. I'm going to fucking say it. Indian style. I'm going to fucking say it. I'm going to fucking say it. You said Indian style. They said it's the biggest pussy dryer ever. It's the biggest turn off. And it's like, you know what? I'm fucking comfortable. I don't care if your pussy's dry. I'm very comfortable like this. I have bad so deal with it. I have bad knees. I can't do that. It feels better than my knees and like sitting on my legs straight out because like my knees start to ache. Oh, I love my legs straight out. Oh, I love it. Some moves. Oh, do this right here. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Let me say it. Let me say it. Oh. <laughs> but if you're gonna call us gay for being comfortable, then you know what? Maybe I'm gonna stop drinking Miller Lite, you dumb bitches. But um, let's get into the emails. 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 Sorry, I had to take a drink real bad. But all right, <clears throat> we have this guy today. Drink your water. Drink your water. It's hot out there. It was like 101 today in Arizona. Let's go. But hello. Wanted to talk about financial struggles and what I've noticed as I've grown old. My, this is my habit. <laughs> All my life, my family was high middle class. We had great holidays, vacations, everything we could ask for. Same. But as I got older, the more nice, nice folk out here, the more keen I became mm. to what was really transpiring in my house. Mm. My parents funded big events and presents for us, but we still live, we still live paycheck to paycheck. We showed all the glam, but we were struggling. Now I'm in my mid thirties and I've noticed that everyone lives in this false world. Mm. Buy, 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 make everyone think you're rich as hell, mm. but you can barely afford food for months after Christmas. Can relate all, my, all my siblings are now married and have kids and they still ask my parents for help. For example, my youngest brother who's almost 30 has two children and our parents still pay his fucking rent. I know the economy is fucked right now. And he put in quotations that damn Biden, but, um, but I'm getting the feeling that we all struggle for this monetary bullshit and live mm -hmm. false, unhappy lives. Check this out. Or almost done. Uh, we have like two more sentences. I don't understand. I know I'm preaching to the choir, but I hate that we have to work just to work until we die just to exist, to have cool clothes or a dumb car. Check Sorry, I'm a bitch, but I only hate, or I hate that only the top 1% has a chance of happiness and we are all stuck and are slaves to capitalism. No. Thank you, your poor local angry white guy. No, no, check this out. No, I'm with you, because check this out. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, no, so I, I was in the same boat as you because like straight up, yeah, it's fucking insane, right? But what I started realizing and learning is is that you, you, you push yourself to this point where you're still living paycheck to paycheck, but you have a nicer car. You drive to work, you have this nicer car, all of a sudden you're treated a little bit different. Next thing you know, you're being pushed for promotions and shit like that. Sad but true. So what it is is that, and then like what I noticed is, is like putting yourself out there like as a point of that you're doing better, everything's going great for you. People perceive you as a little different. So the better you're doing, the higher you are, the higher that stature goes. The higher that stature goes, the higher those like the 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 people you put yourself around get higher and higher. When I was driving a piece of shit Honda that broke down all the time, I was hanging out with people who did a bunch of cocaine and we had like pool parties and shit. That's what we did every day. It's just oh, both cocaine. Ground pools. Yeah, pretty <laughs> not no, I was still I said, come on now. We're not that trash. Like, come on. <laughs> so, but no, but but close enough. It's like that's the people I put myself around. But I started to like kind of saving money, not really saving, but like upgrading the amount of money that I made and then buying shit that I can't afford, but I can barely afford. So I'm still paycheck to paycheck, but now I drive a really nice Honda now. But now I go to a job that goes, it's a salary pay, and I drive off in that car. People go like, I feel comfortable offering him that job because yeah, he obviously seems like he has this shit together. Yeah, weird. So yeah, so you keep this, that's what that the, the new, the new, the new surrounding is your new normality. They can see make it's kind of that thing. That's, it's kind of the same aspect of it, but it's not fake it all the way to the top. It's fake it piece by piece. So yeah. that way people around you perceive you a little different. And the more yeah. it changes around you, you take away those old shitty chunks and you keep bringing, you keep yeah. stacking on the good, the more you'll do better. But it does concern me how you said like you're, I don't know if maybe it's just your brother, but at least one of your siblings, you said he's almost 30 or in his thirties, him having two kids and his parents still pay rent. That's, 
that's not good. That shit kind of worries me that like your environment probably is not. Well, great. I grew up, so I grew up kind of like upper middle class. We we built a really expensive. Okay, so maybe a little bit higher than middle class, but we built like a really expensive home. And then, as you said, when you get older, you start house, receiving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you start receiving. We built on top of a hill too. It was fucking. You were you were high class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We'd never fucking... dream of building a fucking house. Look up Kent Hill Way and Poway and find the house on the hill. That was a house. So we, I grew up in that, but also I have family that went to prison for living there kind of thing. So it's like a give and take kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. So he faked it so hard that he had to go away for a while to where, I mean, I could just pre pretty much say it. Like he tells everybody, my stepdad went to prison and shit like that. Like he, he, do, he done some shit, but he did his time. So free bird. Yeah. <laughs> he actually he actually was friends with Debo. Wait, what color is your stepdad? He's white. So was he? He, like, he looks like you, but six foot three. So he was a neo Nazi in jail. No, he hung out with Debo. So he actually was like chill with the black people in jail. He played bas he played basketball. Okay, sorry to side note. He was good at basketball. I always hate flagging big comedians, but did you see last week Tom Sugar's podcast and they had that guy and he yeah. was like, so basically it was this dude. He was in jail. He was six foot six, and. He was in jail for a while because he's a big drug dealer and the whites were like you're white you gotta run with the whites but then the black people are like hey you're six foot six can you hoop and he's like yeah i'm pretty good at basketball and they're like all right dirk and they started calling him dirk they're like come hoop with us neo-nazis were like you can't play basketball with the black people mm -hmm. he's like bro it's not really like a choice thing they're making me play basketball because i'm big and also, like, you think I'm going to play basketball with the white people? Like, I need yeah. to get better at my skills. <laughs> <laughs> but go on. That's good shit. Um, I love that. They're like, hey, big white guy. You yeah. hurt now. You so, play right. But it's not, it's not wrong. So, like, my stepdad played ball, and he got... I you said 6'3", right? He was, like, 6'2", six 6'3". Six like if he's about six foot, you know, they were like... Hey, oh, you. No, he could shoot. He was a shooter. Oh, he's white. Uh, yeah, of course. he was a hell of a shooter. We shoot up schools, and we shoot in the corner of the... <laughs> White guy in a corner, white guy in the library. Same thing. It's over. Uh, anyways, uh, living in this uh, kind of falsehood of paycheck to paycheck, there's going to be a point where you're satisfied and you can upgrade, but without upgrading your lifestyle. Your lifestyle's done upgrading. You're, you're at where you're comfortable. You, everybody has nice cars. You have multiple bedrooms with the fucking offices. Like you, you've made your, you made your mark, but you have to pretend to get there. All these people think like I don't. I don't understand what people because like I was kind of in the same boat, but also I wasn't. Like I still went to work at construction. Like I still wanted to be a foreman, a superintendent. Wanted to be in the office at one point, but like I saw that this doesn't pay enough. Like I can take these skills somewhere else, start fresh, upgrade, upgrade. Because I just upgraded jobs. I went from in-home solar sales to door-to-door -door sales to logistics. Yeah, it was a pretty good job. Yeah, like, this is a sick-ass fucking job, dude. It's funny, they asked me, they're like, uh, I see you, uh, you got your uh, your colleges listed on here, they're like, did you graduate? I started sweating, and I was like, oh wait, your, your dumbass works there, and I was like, nah, I didn't finish, and I'm like, oh, no, whatever. Like, well, <laughs> yeah, no, my last job, I fucking lied, though, and they're like, oh, you went to college, right? What'd you, uh, you got your degree in marketing, right? And I was like, Fuck no, don't do that. They'll, they'll fucking take us down, bro. Fucking take me down, motherfucker. I ain't scared corporate world. But hey, guys, aren't I a genius, though? They're like, did you get your degree in marketing? And I was like, I studied marketing. I'm not lying. Yeah. I studied that good. it. That was good. Yeah. Fuck that. But we got better jobs. Yeah. But, um, so, <clears throat> but what, that's what I'm saying is that we, we, we have to, you have to lie. You have to lie. You lie, you cheat, you steal. And yeah. You're right, bro. Yeah. And you make w your way w to the top. Just like, don't, don't fuck over your friends. Don't fuck over people. But sometimes, yeah, when someone asks you, when people ask me if I graduated, I say, yeah, dude, I dropped out beginning of senior year. I'm a high school dropout. I tell people that uh, once I get hired on and everybody's comfortable and happy with me, I tell people I'm a dropout. Oh, oh no, I see what you're saying now. Yeah. I thought you were saying, you were like, yeah, I graduated or dropped out senior year. And I was like, I tell, yeah, like, exactly. Like, like, I, tell, oh, I tell people I graduated and then once fucking we're chill, I'm like, yeah. no, I'm a fucking high school dropout, dude. Yeah. But like, look at me. It's the same shit. You went to college. I'm a high school dropout. What's up, bro? Yeah, like, it's really no different. It's no it's difference. So unless when, you have a weird degree that matters, but no one you have to you have to have a specific. No like, but even know. like my girl had to have a specific degree for something, and she just fucking worked and was funny. That was like the big thing, dude. Even in the office, like if you're or wherever you're at, just go talk to the upper ups and just be funny, and then walk. Or not even funny, just say something and then walk away. 
say something and then walk away. Fuck your bosses too. Uh, if you could fuck a boss, dude, that's fucking killer, dude. Fuck your boss. I haven't yet, but I plan on it. Also, dude, uh, yeah, everyone lives paycheck to paycheck. Basically, everybody lives paycheck figure to paycheck. your shit out, bro. Dude, Be I'm, don't bitch about the one percent. Become the one percent. So let me put it like this: I'm living paycheck to paycheck. I'm living in a six hundred and fifty square foot apartment right now with me, my girl, and a cat. Really? It's it, bigger than that. It's not. It's six fifty. Oh. It's fucking tiny. So uh, I'm paying like seventeen hundred for that. I'm moving to a new place that's nineteen hundred dollars. The only reason I'm moving is because I'm making an extra hundred and fifty dollars a fucking week. So I'm I'm actually able to fucking leave. So I'm gonna still be le living paycheck to paycheck. My new apartment's like eighteen hundred dollars. So yeah, it's an extra hundred and fifty dollars a week. But now I'm still living paycheck to paycheck in an eighteen hundred square foot apartment. So yeah, you just gotta make living paycheck to paycheck worth it. Because you said you're kind of just existing to die. It's like, well, how about you exist with some cool shit and then die? Also get Both hobbies. Amazing. Get hobbies. Find yeah. something like that's super. Like huge. you say that a lot. That is yeah, huge. that's super huge. No, it's super huge. Hobbies creates not only. Um, creativity but like uh circles and it can be anything like dude I, I think i already said this once or twice i bought a fucking old xbox 360 and i've been playing old games from like the 90s and early 2000s just it could be anything bro so i've ready communities where we talk about it shit yeah i sound like a fucking school shooter right now but, but yes it's, but it's little things it's little find little fucking hobbies sam uh my girlfriend's is fucking um fucking black guys yeah, no, 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 it's really great. It's really great. And I watch. And she's really good at it. This is where you invited me to come over. I was like, I don't really want to watch that, dude. I'm good. I have to watch it enough at home. But you have to understand, like, if America's Got Talent would allow it, I would let her do it. Imagine it. America's Got Talent, but like AVM, like porn. AVM porn. Yeah. Uh, I can fit eight black dicks in my ass. <laughs> Adult, adults Got Talent. <laughs> we have so many good ideas in the show. Guys. I know, and they can't but, go anywhere. Fuck you, though. You're complaining too much. But, We're going to the next No, 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 no. Really quick, really quick. No, find a hobby. Yeah. Like, my girl's is good to go find dirt. We find dirt. That's and turn it into clay. She made a, she made a um, an octopus. And it was really cool. We have it in the yeah, house. That's pretty cool. And every time we see it, we're like, oh, remember that time? We like, you know. Oh. And then we thought we saw hooves. Because, so we had a gun, but it was just a oh, horse trails. Yeah. yeah, it was It was a good time. I was saying I almost went off. But, all right, I love yeah. this. Because I cool. didn't know this until we got this yeah, email sent two. in. Two. Two. We got two this time. Keep them, keep them coming. You guys are awesome. But this makes me excited hearing this. But he started it with you. Or she. I don't know if you've heard this, but your old work, um, most people probably don't know, Boston Barrel House, shout out them. They're uh, they're now doing open mics. He said, it's music, comedy, and anything uh, imaginable. Um, he said, I'm super excited because it's the first open mic in Hartford County that I know of, but I have a bit of concern. I'm worried because it's not solely a comedy open mic, and I've never done a set before, but want to try. But I'm afraid of ruffling feathers. So he said, Storv, you used to work there, so what are your thoughts on how it will run? Also... When you come home, you better do a show there, you disabled fuck. Much love. Thanks for ending with much love. But yeah, um, to explain this place to you, um, it's like bar upstairs, cool and everything, really nice bar. Then downstairs, it's like this big ass like concert venue. I think it could fit like 500 people. So they would have like shows there during the week. It'd be like country line dancing, like dumb shit. No offense, but <laughs> not my thing. It'd be like country line dancing or whatever. And then they have like concerts on the weekend for like old people and have like bands in there or whatever. My mom would love it. But now, how many, how many people are in the old people bands? How many people are there? 500, they sell out. But this is an open mic and I think it's. I wish, I wish we could pull up. I don't know when it how is. How many people, how many people I go think... to a Wednesday night show? Okay. Wednesday let's night open let's mic. say it's a weekday. Um, weekday open mic. Less. I don't know. It could be. It could be. Four, it could be fifty. It's okay. really gonna be hit or miss. So know. like, is like Devils where it could be four or fifty, or is it like? It's gonna like it's like Tempe Tavern, oh, yeah. or sorry, it's like a Woodshed both class, but a lot bigger too. Okay, cool. Okay, okay. picture that. Okay, Woodshed I can, I can, I can quadruple the size, but people that you don't want to get. It's to what play. it's what what your place your place wants to be like Woodshed. It's trying to be that, but safer. And a lot bigger and bigger, yeah. But it's the same feel, it's the same idea. Great beers, though, like 150 beers. On I understand, but I'm talking yeah. about like the atmosphere. Sorry, I love they're, they're great. It's a, okay, cool. No, yeah. we should do a show there, 
It's in Maryland, but yeah. Yeah, no, it's good. Yeah. Hey, but, hey, get the get the owner to go to Storm Speaks. Best Gmail. friends with the owner, so yeah. So go to the Gmail, say, hey, we want to do a show with you. We'll, we'll fire our own asses out there. Just set up a. I'm gonna be back for the time. summer for a wedding, so. So yeah, yeah, we'll yeah we'll be there. We'll be there. We'll be there. In yeah, have July or June. So okay, back to you. Um, to be a comic in a room like this, and you're, it's his first time. Ever? Yeah. I'm not gonna tell you. I, 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 I'll be dead ass, and no one's gonna show up. Just go in thinking that, because no one probably will. And if you're going to get all hyped and be like, oh, so many people are going to be there. Oh, you're not going to make it. You're not going to make it on this one night. You're not going to make it. No, like, I, you're not even going to make a name for yourself. Everybody's yeah, going to forget tomorrow. I think no one's going to show up. No offense to the owners. It's the first one. So not that many people are going to come. If they do, that's good for you. But, like, don't the worry. Only person, the only person you need to impress on your first open mic is yourself. If you liked what you did on stage, if you liked what was going on up there, then you're in. Yeah. My, like, the thing is, like, my first time doing hip hop, I got off stage, and as I'm walking off stage, people are, like, grabbing me and, like, wanting to hug me, and people I've never, I, I don't know at all. And that was addicting. So, my first time getting off of stage, and the owner goes, You want to do, how long have you been doing comedy? You want to do a show? Like, it's, those are the things you try to chase. So, it's not about impressing. Like, because when I got off stage, I was like, fuck, that was funny. That was good. Like, I, I, I really hope this works out for me. And then, it, you know, it does. So, like, you need to go on stage to impress yourself because you're not going to want to do this if you don't like it. That got weird. I, I didn't like that. I didn't like that one part. But No, I feel you, though. But, 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 like, no. Like, so you need to... You need to do your set the way you want you to be on stage. Yeah. And don't do this shit where you're fucking, oh, please, okay. So and also, the place to... you're performing at, yeah, they're older, but a lot of these people don't oh, really roughly. mind what you're going to say, brother. I'm going to tell you that. I've heard some shit from people working at, like, going to that bar. That you're Don't be worried about don't. the demo. They're a comedy demo. It's probably gold, honestly. I would love to perform in front of them. Okay. It's going to be great. So don't, don't, well, you're new at comedy. For your first six months, don't even try to cover shit like school shootings or fucking <laughs> uh, abortions. <laughs> Woo, ah. You can you can try. We're, you can try, thanks. and yes. then when nobody laughs, you can be like, "Why am I not funny?" It's because you don't know how to handle. You're playing on expert mode in a video game you <laughs> just grabbed today. That's fair. Yeah. You need to uh, go through the tutorial. You can't skip tutorial in stand-up comedy. Your jokes need to be relationships or being single, um, fucking going to parties. I wouldn't put that on them. Because you never know. There's people that just grown up just being that one weird guy where you just said that shit all your life. And it's like, you but just you know, know how humans work. But I don't know you. This is for people who I, yeah, true. I don't know you. So yeah. you need to, you, when you're new at comedy, you need to tackle basic ev genres, everybody genres, relationships, Pets, fucking, um, like, being out at a certain area, especially in an area that's popular in your city. It's not a city. It's like a suburb kind of. It's, it's whatever, whatever, yeah. whatever, wherever you're at, just make it relatable to an avenue or a street. You got a lot of content on heroin, dude. You're the heroin capital of the world. So You can run free. So it's yeah. made so many bits about heroin. And, and dude, it's going to be geek, because if you do have the old people that come in from the crowd, let's say 20 people show up. I guarantee you one of those parents in the crowd, their son OD'd on heroin in the past three years. So it's going to get hot and it's going to be a lot of fun. So that, that could be. It depends on when, like, you also, what I like to tell young comics is crowd work, crowd work. Don't, don't go onto a stage and think you're doing a Netflix special. Yeah. Go on stage and think about you're standing in front of a bonfire and everybody's talking. I have a weird feeling too. There's me a lot of hecklers at this place too. So when someone says something, unless you have a quip, don't say anything. Yeah. Because it'll shut down what you're going to say and then you're not going to be able to recover because you don't know what to say to him too. Now he has the power without a microphone. And that's the worst that's thing That's the worst thing to have. Fuck, I wish you were there for that fucking uncle, whatever fuck his name is. Dude, fuck. I mean, he was there. You can tell you, like, if he comes out of his room, if God knows. But that guy literally pulled up, some drunk dude, in the middle of someone we know doing a stand-up set. This fucking sucks you left. But he literally started yelling at me. He was like, you fucking suck. Give me the mic. And just started dancing and shit. And it's like, 
he like didn't know what to do and he fumbled for a second and he just started like making jokes He's like oh yeah this is just like people in the grocery line like dude that that joke sucked dick and it's like it. he lost the whole entire crowd and everyone's like looking at this black guy dance and they're like yeah fuck this asian guy bro. i haven't seen him in so long Good. Dude. <laughs> i haven't seen him in a minute he gives he drains my system but he's an he, energy vampire but the thing is is that i need that because i have too much energy sometimes so i hang out with him and what that's the fucked up part is i use him as a drug when I feel That's too amped, so when I feel too much, up. and I go, I go up to him and I'm like, "What's up, bro?" <laughs> like, <he> starts, like, <laughs> <laughs> Imagine like starting a clinic with, like methods and tweakers, and they're like all tweaking out. And he just gets in front of him. He's like, "So, dude, when people cut in front of me in the grocery line, and they're like, oh my god, stop!" <laughs> Have you ever been like, "What are you doing?" And that's my Asian people with the walk, and you're like, "Oh my god." <laughs> I wish you guys knew him because I actually just killed him. <laughs> Every single set. And Asian people, he made the walk, and that's why with Asian food, and Dude, I'm an Asian. So... It's like, oh my god, we get it. Uh, and like the fucked out part is, is that he uh, plays up the fucking. That was so fucked. He plays up the accent. Like, yeah, he has no accent on stage. Yeah, he plays up the accent hardcore on stage. But like, oh uh, fuck, I don't, I don't know. We are so we off, Jesus. Dude, that was right. so bad. But yeah, definitely do it, dude. I think I'm actually really excited hearing about this, especially because I'm gonna be home in the next few months. You definitely should come if you want. I'll oh, apparently that. that that plane ticket's like 110. dollars They'll pay. They'll pay me Way more than that. They'll pay me $110 to go to Maryland. It's gonna be like 800 bucks. It's gonna be like 20 bucks on fucking Amazon. Okay. Um, but yeah, I I was I mean I worked there. The owners love me. I love them. So I literally have their cell phone number. I'm sure I could reach out and we could. I don't I don't want to charge people money because I'm not worth money. Do a free show. I want to do a free show, but like let's do a free show. Let's do a free show. Let's just, let's do this. Let's do a free show. We have a special drink where they would we'll, definitely do that. We'll we'll make it like a dollar or two cheap, like a mixed drink that we make a dollar or two cheaper. They, I don't know about that. They're they're actually a really like fine like nice place. It's like sixteen dollar cocktails type shit. Okay, so make it fifteen dollars and make it our special fucking drink for the night. Just Everclear and piss. Sure, that's our drink. It's it's called Storks in my mouth. Yeah, <laughs> with like my leg hair and shit in it, like old beard hairs. Oh my god, Jesus uh, okay. Christ! I hate you sometimes. So no, we'll have we'll do it. We'll do a show. It's a free show. We'll have a special drink and that um, we'll record it. And like the cool thing is, is that we'll have multi angle. We'll make it a whole special night. We'll do. We'll start we'll a Patreon. podcast. We can do a live podcast because I'll be real. I don't know anyone that i would have open up for us so we could literally just do us so what we'll the do whole is whole fucking what we'll do is we'll do 15 20 minutes of both of us just doing comedy and then we'll do like 20 minutes of both of us on stage together and we'll just bullshit yeah. it'd be perfect they yeah. would probably give us like longer they could probably give us like three hours honestly i'm being dead ass so we could really do a lot here <laughs> <laughs> they can give us three hours i can get you a full three hour show where we get like yeah. we can have open mic too and shit like that we'll give we'll give 10 comics fucking five minutes and we could kind of do like we'll do sorry no, but like a we'll kill do a kill thing, thing, yeah. like that kind of thing but like no for real we'll just go we'll go on stage we'll do some comedy and, and i know we'll people do... that like that have never done stand-up but i would really love to see them in that environment because i think they're either gonna be dog shit or kill it so it'd be cool to be like hey you're doing this i'm gonna just make it happen be like well this is his first time let's see how it goes ladies and gentlemen now than like the end or the beginning or something we can, yeah, we can, let's, let's pull some, some shit like that. We'll, or we can, you know, as we said earlier, kind of thing. suck your dick, to, or suck dick the way to the top. We could just try to brown nose our way into getting Stavros on the show. He definitely won't do that. He yeah. won't do it. So, Stavros won't do it, but we can, maybe like, uh, drink. uh, Ryan's like, there wouldn't either. It's only two one more times. No. <laughs> Everyone else sucks. Like, there's no one else. I'd rather be in you just have three hours. We us. literally, I guarantee you, they'd be like, so do you want uh, eight to twelve? And we'd be like, yeah, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, for sure. We, yes, we get a bunch yes. of nobodies to start out the first hour while everybody's yeah. talking and drinking. Everybody who never has Board time. Music. I know a lot of bands. Oh, I know a lot oh, of bands in Arthur County that are great. An good. hour of music before we go. I know a lot of good bands in Arthur That's County. so good. Everybody can yell and drink. Their voices can hurt after an hour. We need to be drunk too. I hate. We definitely, yeah, music's a good opener. Music's a good opener, but then it comes to seating and shit like that. Are people going to stand and watch us do comedy? 
there's um the way they set it up there's kind of like an area where it'll it'll work and we're not i would love to sell it out but let's be realistic i don't know if we could pull 500 people it would be great we it'd be great you can pull 500 people fuck you we're pulling 500 people but um usually sometimes with the smaller shows they would like give like a area for people to dance so maybe okay cool so we, we so, so if we don't do 500 people, we'll have an area. We're going to do 500. We're yeah. going to do 500. We're going to do 500. Gonna do 500. Dude, this is like... Let's do 500. Yeah. It's easy. We should. Yeah, they... I should reach out to them. It's so, cool. but, cool. but do you, so, do you see how we're nobodies, but we're planning on yeah. something that... Yeah, do with the email. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> seriously, that's what that's what you're supposed to do, is you're supposed to just, like, go... You're supposed to go big. Go big. Hope like hope for the best, but plan for the worst. Like if nobody shows up, then whatever. I'm in Maryland. I'm gonna we're gonna make contact. The worst that will happen is I make three contact. of my friends show up and half my family. We have 15 people. That's yeah. still great. That's still a good. That's still a good show up. Yeah. It's good for content. We can make it happen. But it's us. So we're gonna go ahead and get 500 people. Shout out Ellie. Shout out Bill. I'm definitely gonna contact you guys probably before this episode comes out. But yeah, I, it's definitely, I mean, dude, it's funny. Like, they literally announced it. I saw the post it was like a couple of days ago. We got this email today. I think they announced the open mics like three, two days ago. So, dude, we're go, coming in hot. Go sign up. Go do your mic. And let me tell you, let me tell yeah, you. Yeah, let us know how it is, too. If, you, if you're still listening, this is where the cheat code comes in. Ready? Say it's your first time before you get on stage. Dude, I've never said that, and I wish, I'm going to start doing it. It's such a fun. I've never said it before. Ever. It's such a fucking cheat code, dude. If you go, if if the con, if the host, if you tell the host, hey, this is my first time, you know, what do I do? What is the light? You ask something simple like that. You, that way, you're 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 putting in. It's my first time. They're going to. Everybody's gonna cheer. Everybody's gonna love you. Everybody's gonna be like, oh my god. Jesus. And don't give up. Don't go off until they pull you off. You're not bombing unless. Do your five. Just, just do it. Do your Stay five. Do your Stay five. There. You don't have jokes. Try crowd work. You don't know what you're. You don't know what you're good at until you do it. Get it all done in your first one. Get it all done. You're gonna flop. You're gonna fumble. The only reason why I didn't flop and fumble because I'm fucking great. It's because I had background. I had. I had no history. Not everybody's gonna be able to have that kind of confidence and shit like that. So you're gonna go out there. You're gonna flop. You're gonna flop first time doing hip hop. Oh, I had to delete it off YouTube the other day. Oh, I kept it because it was funny, and then I rewatched it the other day, and I was like, "Oh, okay, this can't be out in the public world." So, you're, it's going to be awkward and uncomfortable. Just sit in it, sit in it, and understand what that is. And please let us know how it is, because I'm actually like really intrigued yeah, about no, this. I place. want to know. Dude, this place is really good for comedy. Right. Shout out Bill. Shout out Ellie. We're going to contact you. We're going to get this thing going. Let's get a show. Let's get a show going. That'd be fun. Mm -hmm. I'm excited but uh thank you guys for coming out to church once again dj's comedy corner and you know who i am timothy the christ thank you for coming out to church praise allah